Hello, I am Tanya Windiger and I often get asked questions about how does childhood trauma affect your life, how does it affect your personality and your future, does it, you know, does it limit your possibilities and if you do have PTSD, do, can you overcome PTSD and all these kind of um, questions which are really difficult to answer really because everyone's journey is quite individual and you know, it depends on the level of support you have. You know, have you have a nice um, support network, people that really understand and can be accepting and non-judging. And do you have like really professional support available to you? And are you, you know whether this is with or without medication? So it's it's a whole network. It's a, it's your whole community really that um, can have a huge impact on on your journey. Do to have the life that you choose to have. So, um, as much as I think childhood trauma, trauma has uh, can have a trauma, traumatic impact on on your development, really, because it, your brain isn't developed, especially your prefrontal cortex, where you, where you can um, really make sense of what is happening to you. So, having said that, like I have been myself, have been diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder. I do believe that as an adult, you can go back and you can change those neur neuronal pathways that you have um, built basically due to trauma that all, they're kind of malfunctioning, they're not really that beneficial to you and, you know, usually go straight to anxiety and, and, and but you, we can change that. We have we have the technology these days to actually do brain scans and you know they've done so many studies to prove that our brain has a tremendous capacity to change it, it, it's truly amazing and you know i don't think that you actually can overcome or cure ptsd i think it's much more like um, diabetes for example you can manage it really really well but you know you don't cure it as, as such but you can if you manage it well you, you can have a great life you know you don't you don't have hypos or, or any anything like that and I think it's very similar with PTSD if you can manage your symptoms really well you can have a fulfilling life really and you you can be joyous and, and go out there and have fun so it does upset me so that there is still this um, thought every now and then you hear people talk about it or you read things where it's like if a person has X, Y, Z happening in their childhood, they're going to turn out or they're more likely you know, to be unemployed, they're going to have alcohol problems and drug addicts and in and out of jail. You know, I mean, as much as it can happen, you can also stop you self from that happening going down that pathway I truly believe so I mean in my teenage years I had huge troubles you know I was I was a mess really and I had lots of troubles with um, bulimia and um, alcohol issues you know and there was times when my alcohol was my best friend and my worst enemy as well so but um, I this is I choose not to drink because I know what it does it brings out the worst of me so I haven't actually been drinking for over 10 years but um, that was a choice, you know. I, I could say that I had childhood trauma and I, that's the reason why I'm drinking and I, can't, I can never stop that. But I, I don't think that's true. You know, I can equally, I can tell you the opposite. I can use this. This gives me the determination that I will prove these people wrong, that I will not end up like this. I will not uh, repeat that cycle. I will not be an abuser. And I, I, every day I'm so conscious of being the person that I choose to be. You know, I want to be joyous. I want to be out there. I want to be engaged. I want to be a caring person towards my friends. So you can choose all those kind of things. So I think you have a tremendous um, choice still in who you become. So... It is a, it's not a very clear-cut um, um, line, as some people would like, would like to think. I think, I think we, we, we can shape it and we can um, make the future the way we want it, regardless of what um, happened and what kind of traumas we have and how severe our um, 
PTSD symptoms are. And even I just don't ever stop believing or losing hope and faith that, that it will lift. You know, work through it. Do exercises and your brain will build new neuronal pathways and those symptoms will lessen and lessen and it, it becomes so much easier to manage your PTSD over time. So stick it out. <laughs> I mean, I've been working on this for 10 years, but I can only tell you my, my life is... Um, it, it's amazing now. I, I truly... Um, I Yeah, I, I truly believe in, in the our brain's ability to change and if we allow it in, if we allow the good things into our life, if we can accept that we deserve good things as well. So I think that's one other key issue that we often have. So have a think about it and I would love to read your comments down below or on my Facebook blog or on my webpage on the uh, contact us uh, link wherever it is. Uh, I'd love to read your comments and have a nice day. Bye for now.